Some years ago, I met with a buddy of mine and he talked to me about this weekend that he was doing with some friends of his and him and his son and their sons, they would get away for a weekend and do some cool manly stuff, eat steaks and have, have a great time doing other guy boy stuff. And I thought it was really sounded cool and I mentioned it to a couple of buddies of mine and they ended up meeting with this other friend of mine and out of that uh, was birth a uh, thing called a weekend with guys and their sons called Manly Camp. In fact, it still goes on today. But a um, buddy of mine ended up uh, leading it and we helped him. And it uh, ended up being a great weekend. Uh, every year we would do this. And I, man, I think I only missed one, but it would uh, be a weekend where we would do cool stuff. Uh, it would be kayak and we'd eat great food and they'd learn lessons of faith and we'd affirm the boys. and just tell them what kind of great men they were gonna grow up to be. And we did this for many, many years. And after uh, my sons had outgrown it, it was something I really just didn't wanna quite give up. And I started doing this annual guys trip that we have been everywhere from Colorado to New York to doing something right here in our home state of Pennsylvania, to, up to West Virginia this year. Uh, well, my sons are both grown. My one's in, one's in college. He's not going to be able to make it this year because of an internship. And my other son, he's going to be coming with us. And then I got some uh, family that's going to be meeting us. But this year we're going deep in Appalachia. We're going to hopefully have a fantastic time, do some fly fishing, do some hiking, see what kind of trouble we can get into. But water conditions are low. So I do know that's going to be potentially a challenge. But stick around with us and we will see what kind of trouble we can get into, what kind of fun we can have with the guys. Hey, this is a good load, and we ain't even made it to all these yet. Go ahead, shut her down, let's roll. <laughs> Up heading south. Quarters of a mile.
pit stop, got some coffee and fuel there, as I showed a while ago. But uh, the uh, this is Memorial Day uh, weekend, Memorial Day, and wow, it is a madhouse around here. Absolute, absolute madhouse. I'm trying to get into a uh, gas station uh, wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but at least I don't have a 45 footer. Got all set up at camp, and uh, Blake and I are out doing a little recon. Water's low, but there is definitely still fishable water. But uh, gonna do a little recon here. Like to find something for the evening hatch. All right, my cousin and uh, his son have arrived. Burgers are for supper. See if we can catch some evening hatch somewhere. We need rain, and we've got a little bit of rain, but we need a whole lot more rain. So. Lack of rain is the situation at present. All right. little guys that are flip they just kind of doing flips in the water here so they're rising and feeding but unfortunately they're little creek chub type things not trout yeah yeah no they, they look about the size of a minnow <laughs> yeah basically what they are So what you're saying is Keurig is not the finest cup of coffee. Anymore. Keurig is not the finest cup of coffee it's here. Not. I mean, it's it's going to water the mouth and maybe get the brain moving. But this stuff... Um, it's got the caffeine. This stuff... It's, got, it's at least got the caffeine, right? This stuff is like runny horse manure. It'll get the job done, I'm sure. <laughs> First morning of being here, gonna head out, actually head over to see a local fly shop, well, local, about an hour away, but trying to get a little bit of intelligence. I've gotten some already, but it is, the challenge is water. Definitely can find water in small streams. The larger streams, I think if we find more narrow area of some depth, you're gonna find fish. It's kind of like somebody invited us to the pool party and then pulled the plug. 
uh, we need rain. We got some rain, but just it's not enough. Just not enough. It, the, the water tables are too low. So, but we did find some fish last night. But we got into the um, the, the the hatch, trying to you know do the evening rising too late. So, but anyhow, stick around. We're gonna have some fun today. So we'll see what we can get into. Well, we found some decent flowing water. Gonna hit it, see if we can get after it and get some in the net. Oh, a fish. I'm snagged in, I got a fish. Good golly. Is that a sucker or a huge rainbow?
Hey, Blake. What's that? It's huge, man. Yes, baby. It was right up in that shallow air. Holy cow. He's tired, all right. Good fish. Dude, go on, man. That baby is huge. Thank you. That looks like a big wild one too. Oh yeah, he's definitely wild. Wow, that was this been a rough, rough day. That is a big, big wild brown. About 19 inches. Wow. Yeah. Thing was strong. Good fish. Good fish. Tough, tough day down here in Appalachia. Wow. About ready to head to a brook trout stream. We caught that beast. Holy smokes. What a beast. Is that a sulfur coming off right there? Whew. Rough, but that one was nice. One of my biggest ever. One of my biggest. Actually, that is probably my biggest truly wild round ever. Because the one I caught is probably a holdover that was 20 so wow cool totally cool there we go nice whoa putting on a Mountain show. Good job, good job. What do you hit? I caught one on the, the purple parrot again. The hollow point. That's a real pretty rainbow. That is a beautiful rainbow. That is a beauty. These hold out for a while. Been a rough one, but there's two in a row. We're making some progress. Right up at the head of that pool. Take him for a ride. Take him for a ride. Is that a brown? It's still a rainbow. This this water is getting cold. Well, this is a weird looking one. It's a tiger. I think so. It is. One of them tigers. Like, what the heck is that thing? It looks like a lake trout. That's a nice fish, man. Nice fish. You want me to get, want me to do a picture with that? Let's do a picture of that. Yeah, sure, that's cool. I don't think I've ever caught one of these things. 
Having some ribeye, cucumbers, good stuff to fill the tummy. Thank you for today and thank you that we can all be out here. Um, thank you that we've been able to get out a little bit, have some fishing, and uh, please be with us tomorrow. Hopefully we can catch some more. <laughs> thank you for this food. May it nourish our bodies. Amen. 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 White's got one on. Fighting pretty good. There are some rainbows in here. Oh, nice. I ended up on the dropper. Wound up on the little sexy uh, waltz on the dropper. Went for the dry and got the dropper. Well, I'm going to call that a wrap on the um, first full day of being down here in the Appalachian Mountains. It uh, definitely was tough. Got a couple to the net. Lost uh, a couple, but uh, we did have some success, but definitely it was tough. Got some uh, fish rising here tonight, but not, a t got some fish rising here tonight, but not a ton. But I've definitely, the years I've been fly fishing, I've never seen a spring with this little water. So it's, it's crazy. It's, it's the challenge that we're facing. And tomorrow we're going to, hike well if all goes as planned we're going to hike into a remote area so we'll see how that goes 
If not, uh, then it'll be a change of plans, but at this point, that's the plan. So we'll see how things go tomorrow. Right, are we the last to arrive or? Yeah, well, it's only us and Dave and um, Josh and our, my crew and you guys, so. Well, it's all your crew here? Yeah, yeah, we, we, have, we all got here. The, um, did you see it, bud? See you, man. Um, the, uh, we all, uh, you see you, Dad, love you. Uh, love you, too. Great. Um, Great. Here, straighten it back towards me. There you go. There you are. That's it. That's a good. That's a good thought. Maybe it is a space station. Because you can see the ISS from the ground. morning so my dad and brother got in last night and uh, it's another beautiful morning down here in the mountains we are heading out to go into a remote area uh, my dad's got to stay here but we're heading out to a remote area to see a waterfall do a little bit of fishing see what we can get into hopefully we can find some water where the canyon has kind of come together and it gets deeper uh, since the water conditions are just incredibly bad it'd be interesting to know what this is on a record as far as how dry it is compared to well it's very dry compared to normal but what kind of record this is setting because this is it's like you're down here in july and it's not even june yet it's still may this is rainy season so but anyway so hopefully we can find some kind of steep steep area where we can get some good plunge pools find some trout in there uh, but uh, have a good time on the hike. See some uh, nice country too, so it should be a good time. Blake cooking up some good goulash here this morning. Got rice mixed in with ribeye, eggs. Bacon in there too? No. No, just the eggs. Mmm. Breakfast is smelling good. The man, the man on the griddle. All right, the boys are getting something here at the uh, Sweet Cafe down here in Durban, West Virginia. Staying at the East Fork Campground. It's a uh, one street town. I wonder if they I wonder if they got any ice cream over here. Morning, sir. Morning. We got uh, a little restaurant here and um, maybe some ice cream. I'm hoping they got. I'd like to see that they have some ice cream, but I haven't seen this place open, so we shall see. Yep, they are open. Nope. Are they open? Yeah. They are open. Oh, hey, good, because they got ice cream. Closes at 4:30, so that's not good for uh, <laughs> for us fishermen that uh, do supper uh, later. Although you know what, maybe we do it before supper. That's not a bad idea. Pocket for you for breakfast. Indeed, and it was uh, fat enough that the uh, camper fridge door wasn't closing real well, so it should close better now. There you go. <laughs> maybe we get you on a trout on a fly rod today we'll see that'd be wonderful it's a pretty day there irregardless
ride, buddy, up the mountain, up the mountain, to a place where I can sit my rocking chair. Rode my buddy, up the mountain, up the mountain, and I'm never going back to get a little break here. Definitely some altitude gain getting up to this place. Definitely some altitude gain. Place the uh, trend, trend setter here, pace setter, pace setter. We'll keep trotting along here before long. It's an old man's seat right there for you. It's called a rock. Don't miss it. We're making our way down. No, it's, it's, a, it's a seat for you. It's called a rock. He started to slip. I go down. I snapped. What the? Somehow managed. But you agree to? I was no, fully up front miles, about this one. Miles left. Um, you think it ain't miles like flat? Massive drop Obviously a head injury will do you in. Was your brain not working, West Virginia, flat? You know what I thought? Still stuck in Indiana. Awesome because... Could have been better. Well, eight miles for the health Mom of it. was not happy either. It's still good. Now it's eight miles for the hell of it. It was for the health of it. All right, which way are we going? Right, 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 right. On up. Now, you boys aren't in Indiana anymore. This ain't Indiana ain't anymore. Indiana anymore. <laughs> what the world did you get in? <laughs> Can I need it here? She rode like that with me now. She needs to have. She needs to be drinking wine. Right, hey, it's the first dilemma of the hike. Let's see Josh's shoe. Uh oh. The bottom has come off. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this is not. This is not looking kind for the way home. I got some string. Maybe you can tie that baby on. If not. His dad and him maybe both have hurt and beat. <laughs> All right, time to have a little lunch at the waterfall. Heck of a nice, heck of a heck of a hike. <laughs> heck of a good hike to actually get down here. So pretty cool, beautiful. At least with low water conditions, this looks nice down here. All right, first gap. So just put your hand down here. No, just this hand down here. You don't need two hands. Even further down. Okay. Just, and just make that A and then just make that A and I just pop it out there. Pop it out into the current. And I don't release my hand, right? Nope, just boom. There you go. This good old uh, fly fishing bobber fishing by the mouth tip. Yeah, I set that, that's probably bottom, but anytime that indicator goes down, that was probably bottom, but anytime that goes down, set the hook. Okay. So cast up. You set the hook by pulling this? No, just, just, just pop it. Just pull boom. it up. Just pull it up. Pull it up. A little quick wrist, wrist action, and you don't even have to reel in the reel, you can start stripping okay. in the line. Actually, put it right along the edge of the water in the foam. Yeah. 
shot. I lost it. A little over into this water here. We're just moving water. There you go. That's probably it. Too much junk in there. Yeah. A little out, more out into the water, but just to the edge. There you go. There you go. You got a fish? Hey Blake, is that a trout? All right, hold on. Blake's got one. It's all right. Ah, oh, we need some film, man. All right, got a little one there. Whoop. All right, you want to release it? Whoop, there it goes. <laughs> Home from Myrtle Beach. I went this past time to find a forest. It would have been October. Of Dave, you gonna make it, brother? Just think. You got like hot dogs back at camp tonight. Yeah, yeah you gotta get this too. So we so we have the final shoe we made it <laughs> to the to its uh, grave plot is where it'll be next. The trash Thankfully Dave had an extra pair of shoes for Josh. We're good. It the, might be wet. But it might be wet. Yeah, for real. Alright, <laughs> yep. right, we reached the summit and we're heading back down the other side. Maybe we'll have some uh, hot dogs for supper. Nathan, you gonna do hot dogs for supper? Yeah, we can do dogs and burgers, yeah. Dogs and burgers. We get uh, one trout was caught. It's a, um, we'll, we'll call this a hiking day. <laughs> it wasn't a trout day. <laughs> it was a good time with the guys day, so anyway. That's the uh, that's where we're at for now. So keep hiking, and get back here to the truck. He's making it out. He's making it out. He's a coming. He's a coming. Run, boy. Run, Forrest. Run, Forrest. Run. Okay, just walk. <laughs> That'll work too. <laughs> Long stretch, baby. Steak on a burger, right? That is right. That is good. Dave, what's the what's the line on you're gonna move within the next hour after that hike? Uh, that's pretty good. That you're not gonna move? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Over here and some organic uh, corn chips for dipping for when once. In. Supper, baby. If I get up again. <laughs> I got a pickle spear shoved down in there too. 15.9. You should have been so hiking with a. Uh, should have probably had a tin of water in. on it. Just right. sucking the yeah, Should have had a, at least a gallon. Well, that's in a whole day. Well, yeah, but when you're doing that, I it's think he only had four. Well, which for that long in the sun. He's gonna leave us already. You yeah, headed to bed. The sun hasn't even set yet. I'm not liking There's no way the circadian rhythm's right. If you give it, if you, if you give it to nine o'clock, it ain't gonna kill you, is it? Well, mine's so confused. Yeah, I don't know what to do right now. Don't really kill we, me. Can we let you go at nine? <laughs> can you bless us with our, your presence until nine? Yeah. Why don't you be real wild tonight? You have no one to yell at. Give it up. <laughs> no one here. Oh, really? Yeah. No okay. one. All right. You can do whatever you want. You can sleep in a little bit. <laughs> 
that's the problem. Well, you be now. You can you can you can get a better one. It did. Um, All right, well, it's um, Thursday morning. Uh, my cousin Dave and his son left. We went out and did a little recon this morning. Finding good water is still an issue. I think we found some fishable water, but uh, also got a nail in a tire. So this is my second vacation where I'm having tire issues. So getting it plugged here for 10 bucks, so that's not bad. So get that taken care of and then head out with my dad and brother and uh, see if we can get a fish or two in the net. So stay tuned. See what other kind of fun we can get into. I got that stuff to do it myself, but I imagine you can do it a lot quicker and better than I can. <laughs> there she be. It looks like a nail, does it? That right there be the corporate, be the problem. <laughs> be the, that right there be the problem. Got it taken care of. Gentleman got me taken care of really quick. Good man. Go. Got that pain out of the, got that pain in the butt out of the tire. So, all right, on to more adventure. Was that the, oh no, uh-uh. I haven't seen any of your griddles, but. You know what, Dad? Are they trimming trees with that? Hey, Dad. Come here. I got it zoomed in. Yeah, he's cutting trees. Look at that. He's got a chainsaw. He's got a chainsaw at the bottom of that thing. All right, so it is tire trouble continues. The patch I got done up in Maine, if you watched that video, now that's leaking. Um, I had a, something else in the same tire, that, but possibly the nail was not what was leaking. Maybe in the other, or maybe they're just both leaking, but that's kind of D time to get new tires here at some point. So, but anyway, we're trying to get out do a little fishing, but we are here at the uh, nice gentleman's garage and thankfully he's taking care of us. Trains and trucks. Trains, trucks, and issues. He did an interview saying if you do want to. All right, we're back with a fixed tire now, so now we shall see um, if we can get any fish landed. But at least the, he fixed the patch that was fixed up in Maine, had to put a new patch on, so we had double tire issues on the same tire. There you go. Now lift up, lift up, lift up. Philip, now let that orange thing, I want that orange we'll thing tickle. Over there. Let that orange thing tickle the, what's that? You see that hit over there? No, was there a rise? Yeah. There was, we got a fish hit just over there. That orange, have it tickle the water. There, just every now and then let it Just down. let it tickle the, the, I want that orange thing barely out of the water. Now recast. Oh, you got a fish. You got a fish. What's that? A little minnow, chub. Yeah, it's a chub, but that's why you want to, hey, his first one. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh Lord, into the backing, into the backing. It's a chub. <laughs> so, so, but just like, but that's why you want to kind of set the hook. This, I'll get it off. You want, you want to set the hook when you recast because um, that right there, that could, that could, that could have been a trout. Yeah. All right. Man, he's, he's a fighting little guy. He's just, all right. There you go. Oh, you got one. All right, Blake's got one on. Is it right in that little edge of that foam over there? Yeah. Oh, that, that actually may be wild. Oh yeah, that looks wild. It's nice, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. 
Is that, is that, is that a fish? Yep. All right, all right. Hey, hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's lift up a little bit. That's a chub. Ah, <laughs> darn it. It's a nice size one, though. <laughs> I'm a fisherman. <laughs> Another chubby, but it's a nice, it's a better one. It's, it's a more bend the rod one. Let me see it, but okay, yeah, it's bigger than, yeah. It's a native. That felt good. Well, you got an idea what it's like. Oh, yeah. Good job, though. That's, it's, uh, <laughs> we're chubbing. <laughs> trains busted or not busted messed up tire um, we are in search of some dry fly fishing tonight and we are following the intelligence of more than one local and hopefully this gets us on some decent fish to say the fishing has been rough is an understatement it's been very tough we love we're living conditions in end of May that's like in the June or in the July. Absolutely ludicrous. We need rain and we need it bad. So anyway, we're walking in maybe about a mile and uh, we'll see what happens. We arrive. Yeah, we do. We do need waiters. What? I said we don't even need waiters. All right, we arrived at the Holy Grail. Let's see if there's fish in here. This is definitely the hole. It is deep. We'll see if trout rise. Standard. On the um, yeah, on Mr. Rapid, Dad. Blake's got one on there. Blake's got another one. Is he foul hook? You got the lively legs on? Yeah, it's not like they're Coming up and hitting the top. There we go. Went went deep with the lively legs and Rainbow on the double trouble. Well, that's wrapped for this evening. They're not rising, but we did get a few fish. So tomorrow, I think we're going to change gears and try to chase just some wilds. So let's see how that goes. See you in the morning. Those waiters really worked off those dogs real fast. <laughs> Thank you.
46 degrees outside. All right, well, it's uh, Friday morning out here chasing some wilds with Blake. Just took a temperature in 46 degrees outside down here in the mountains, and it's the water's in the 50s, so good temperatures. Water lows are low, but should be good enough temperatures over some wilds here, so see what happens. The struggle is real. No. You're training, training for bear? Oh, that's cool. That's, uh, yeah, you got some nice, nice dogs there. That's awesome. That's awesome. The uh, is there many bear up in here? No, not like there was. There was a whole lot, but there. All right, second stream this morning. The Appalachian struggle continues. Finding fish. Where are the wilds? Where are the wild trouties? Water is very clear. For the end of May, you could think we were in June and July. Stick around. Oh, right there. You got over there, that made it too flat. Move it this way. At least it makes beautiful footage. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel yeah. They hit the hit. Come on, do it again. Only one and done again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Get him in the net. Get him in the net. But it is a brookie. We just found an idiot. Oh, <laughs> hey, we'll take it though. We'll take it. Oh, it's beautiful, though. yeah. It's, uh, that's a beautiful little brookie. And that. Beautiful little guy. Yeah, it that must be up closer man. to the, the running water. Yep. There we go, there we go. Oh. Oh, that one hit after you was went by.
Oh, there we go. <laughs> They're coming after it. Oh, nice one, nice one. I didn't see that take. Oh, he took the dropper, didn't he? Yeah, he took the dropper. Better fish, better fish. All right, so up here on a beautiful brookie stream, and we have found fish. We have found some Appalachian natives. Beautiful fish. Goodness gracious. Stuff. Might be more streamer water too, and this might be a whole lot of nothing. They're rising out there, it's just a matter of trying to cast. There we go. Nice. She ain't big, but she took the dry. <laughs> right through the net. My hand wet there. Beautiful little jewel. Beautiful little jewel. <laughs> this is cool, man. We've never fished like this together before. Seeing you over there like that, I've never seen this. This is neat. Nice. That was very juicy looking. Man, that's a good looking. That's almost a spot to put a heavier nymph on the bottom. Gosh, there's got to be a fish in there. Got a fish? There we go. There we go. Nice. Got the nymph. They're so much easier when they hit the nymphs. Yep. 
cool. Would be. It's a crappy job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> we filled up the fresh water too quick. All right, let's roll. <laughs> you got a place to hold on? All right. Filled up the fresh water tank somehow, quicker than what I realized. Now I got to go drop, dump the thing. There we go. Actually, kind of crouch down so you don't spook them. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Let me, let me see your, let me see your line. Let me see your line. All right, so this afternoon we are out here on a uh, wild brook trout stream up in the mountains here of Appalachia and it is uh, it's actually working we are catching some fish and trying to get my brother on his first ever we'll see if we can get that done but uh, this is the uh, third stream Blake and I've been on today and two out of three is working well so that's good <laughs> what he hit the mid I hit on top That's a big one, Nathan. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, come on up. You get it, Blake? Yeah. Oh, pretty. What kind is this? It's, it's, it's a brook trout. trout. That's that beautiful. Neat. Yeah, no, these are some of the prettiest ones you can catch. Beautiful. Yeah. Fish. Oh, goodness, might have been one. I just was lifting it up. <laughs> Beautiful little native, there it goes. I think it pops out right in front of the This is a, oh, there you go, there you go. Nice. Get her in the net, get her in the net. There we go. There's a bigger one. It's at the top of the plague. Top. Yeah. Man, Tom. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Whoa, nice one, <laughs> nice, put that baby in the net. Oh, nice, nice baby. Good job, man, good job. There you go. Nice, nice. And we want that to drift natural, not 
See how you pull that out a little bit? You want that to stay with the current. You want it to look like real food coming through there. Yeah, just keep going. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you got one. <laughs> Jerked it clean out of the water, but we'll take it. It's a mission. It's a mission. We got it. We got it. Woohoo! Lord, I didn't even see the take. We got a rock and a fish. We got a rock and a fish. <laughs> well, I'm not mic'd up anymore either. No, but I was recording. All right, cool. I got her. Did you see a take or what? Oh, I felt it. Did, was it on the bottom? It's already off. There you go, bud. And I know it's dinky, but we got to get a picture with it. All right. Here's your first trout on the fly rod, so. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. All right. Just kind of All cut, right. just kind of put Done? Yeah, but don't hold him too tight. Oh. oh, no. Oh, well. I was afraid of. Uh, we got him. We got him. We, he's, uh, he's on video, though. Hey. Um, Cows. You touched him. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> I was trying on. to figure out my fly was floating. I'm like, oh, where is it? Can't Let's see anything. Nice. 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 I, I don't know of another brook trout stream I fished I like better. Yeah, this is there, <coughs> Grandpa, I'll, I'll take that back. The, this, I, this might be second place to the Rapidan River. Where's that one at? River? It's down in Virginia. It's the one this fly was designed for. But this is a uniqueness. That one, it, it has a very big gradient of dropping and you're just, there is lots of plunge pool after plunge pool. Oh, yeah. I am just impressed with the beauty of this thing. This hole and the one that Nathan fished are just right out of a daggone brook trout magazine type thing. All right, we have Blake on the 18th hole of the brook trout stream here. It is a unbelievable beauty. A waterfall goes into a pool. Logs crossing the stream. Great structure leading into the 18th green of the brook trout stream. <laughs> All right, well, that's a uh, wrap on Friday's fishing. I'm gonna head back and get some supper. Um, it was a great stream. It's a great brook trout stream. May have to come back to this one again sometime. So, Appalachia brook trout fishing. Um, fishing for those <coughs> little jewels is, uh, in this kind of environment is just uh, fantastic. So, very cool. And Nathan got his uh, first one. So, that's cool as well. So, let's uh, get back to camp and get some dinner. When the sun's going down No stars in the sky I'm head down the road Across county lines Someone had to talk to me. I left it right here. Where the road I don't think that's the case. The garbage can contraption you have to do. The bag. <laughs> yeah. All right, we had supper. But now Nathan is second doing supper. second supper, late night. Were you making a burger, pudgy burger? I want to do a pudgy pie burger. Pudgy pie burger with all this stir fry, and it smells very yummy. But I will, ah. I'll take ice cream this time of night over these veggies, although they smell very good.
would have expected it to get cold like that. It just came out of nowhere. Oh, no one and Jared and all them slept outside. Oh, that's outside. right there. In that, that, that was cold to the get. It was high low 40s. Didn't you say the rumors? I look out across the water. I smell the song. In my heart, I hear the call of my old home, Tennessee. We don't know where these rivers flow, or why the wind chooses when and where to blow. The sun is gonna rise. Each A real cat. Yeah. Otherwise, he's gonna get. He said he'll he'll get ridiculed one day. If you're a <laughs> trash. Like no, 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 you gotta show. You're multifaceted. <laughs> well, good morning and uh, welcome to the. Last day of our guys trip down here to Appalachia. It's been an interesting trip uh, with low water conditions, but somehow I got my personal best while browned. Yesterday we fished one of the neatest brook trout streams I've ever fished. Today we're gonna hit some mul multiple waters. We're gonna start here on this stream where we're at and we're gonna jump around and yeah, hit some different streams. So water conditions are still low, calling for some rain today, but they need a bunch. They need a good multiple days of just good solid rain. So, and that doesn't, uh, that's probably not gonna happen anytime soon, so. But hey, stick with us. That's been a fun journey so far and uh, we're gonna see what else we can get into this morning. I'm gonna add a wee little bit of weight just for this calf, for this piece here. There we go. I added a little tungsten weight to it. I had to get it down. Hiding under that froth. Oh shoot! Came off. I think you made out of foul hook. How do you think? Bow and arrow cast in there. It's in that little bit of depth.
I bet this is a little wild brown. Ah, shoot. Dang it. Popped off. I bet that was a little wild brown. Well, these conditions are tough. At uh, just enough depth in that water. Uh, and I got had one, I think it was a little wild brown probably, just kicked off. Did a little self-release right before I got it in the net. But I'm fishing a little small blue paired again and a little small green sexy waltz, both maybe size 18. So it's like A game level fishing, very clear conditions. The one before that added just enough weight to get down in that rapid. Had a little tungsten weight. I, I bought some of that uh, little tungsten putty off of Amazon and uh, added just a little bit of that. But it's just, there's only a, so much water these fish can hide in. Water's in the 50s, which is good, but we need more water, so. But we can't, we can't fix that, so do what we can. Good. Lake's got one on, see if you can get him out of here. Not easy getting them in in this mess. Get him over that slack, Lord. He'll lay up stream on you. He got him foul hook. Maybe. Nice fish. That a big brown. There we go. Good job. Is he foul hooked or is he in the mouth? He's, I got him. You got him good. Good, yeah. good. You got him fair and square. Nice job. What'd he take? I think the other, well, I think the, the top one got him somewhere around the bottom probably. He took a... Uh, Oh, he took the waltz on top. Yeah, that's what happened. So the other hook probably got him. Mm. Nice job. Nice. Yeah. Awesome job, buddy. Awesome job. There's another big one in there. I saw him swimming around as I was fighting his friend. My goodness, it was like they have to. There had to be one in there. Yeah, that's like. You find where there's like a place they can hold, they gotta be in there. And it wasn't a matter of getting deep, he hit the top fly and just like dude. And he tried to go. He tried to go he tried to go down, forced him back up. He went he tried to go over there, forced him back up. I mean he started taking off up those rapids. That was a yeah. That was a healthy fish. That's, impre that, that's impressive he didn't break off. It's good the water is nice and cold. He got that thing in his mouth, good. Yeah. He had to have. Uh, they, I mean, and that, that high quality cigar. <laughs> $10 a public way and holds on tight. I'm using that P line stuff. <laughs> but this is this has got the depth that you need. Right. There's very little water, but it's got the depth. Wait, got another one on here. Use the desert.
That one was in pretty thin water. Boy. It's like he goes downstream. Oh yeah, you ain't seen him again. You ain't seen him again. You gotta you gotta, you gotta keep him enough to keep him there. Yeah, he ain't coming around. It's another brown. Oh yeah. Good job, good job. Whoa, keep him up, keep him. Self-released. Self-released. That was a good brown. That was a good brown. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago. For the old days of yore. Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees. Let me fly like the leaves when they fall. Well, let my mind go serene like a cool water stream. That runs from the mountain so tall Oh, take me back down the old dirt road Well, hey, it's good afternoon. Got a little lunch in me. Heading down to fish some different water. This morning, got some uh, hooked in... Uh, I got what one, one landed and multiple ones hooked, but uh, we're heading into some new water, some different water today, rather. Take me uh, but um, talked to a couple fellas, one local fella to, to this state, and uh, it's it's just a challenge. It is what it is. There's low you know, this low water condition just makes it very challenging. And we were looking ahead somewhere else, and then changed plans and uh in the, the day the you need water you need trout you need water so it's just uh we're in a weird situation it's almost well let's put it this way the then down in this area and till first of july and, and the flows were better than they are now at the end of may so crazy stuff all right let's get after it i mean that's that's what's worked at the connie though they still ate they're, they're not they're not phased by you yet I mean, they're not even looking at you i feel like the one has also has a spinner stuck in his mouth i feel like i see something shiny sticking out uh no one turned their head at that one they were not impressed. Oh, one's looking. I think he took no, it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I caught one. <laughs> I caught one. You got one. You got there was, one. There was one that was out more active, and he was the one that took Here, the chance. On he must have been hungry. What did he take? Black Pertagon. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, 
Is that the parrot again? Yeah, it looks like it. We got another one. We found fish. Oh my gosh, he ate it. There you go! Three! <laughs> I cannot believe he ate that. That is the dumbest fish. <laughs> hey. Well, it's, well, was it a bad... I'm having fun. Hey. No, I don't think. Oh, this, okay. is, this is fun, are you kidding me? I'm, I'm sitting here catching them. I'd be having fun too, absolutely. <laughs> What's the... Uh, I can't believe that. This is a black one. You gotta get your uh, license... Uh, <laughs> okay, here. Oh, that one's big. <laughs> yeah, they're all nice size. This goes to show you. Good job, Tom. Thanks. If you can. They still in that same area? Yep, right there. It was the uh, switch to the, like maybe the pheasant tail, white legged, lively legs. This thing's like... It's a, it's a nice fish. Five times the deepest part of the river. Oh, you got a fish? Yeah. That's a big fish. Mm -hmm. I, I probably spooked him out from up here. That's what I'm going to take credit for. Oh, I found a, I found a ridge. Nice big old brookie. Nice big old brookie. We are ending the trip chasing brook trout, our third stream of the day. 
we will. Let's see what we can get into. Got some thunder banging. So we'll see if that hinders us from getting in any brookies. But I'm uh, going to end the Appalachian trip chasing the Appalachian brook trout. Nip the nip. Little Appalachian brook trout. Get the little Frenchy nip. Whoa, that was a hit. Didn't even make contact with it though. Oh yeah, nice one, nice hit. <laughs> he came up and just smacked it. <laughs> he just nailed that baby. On the Mr. Rapidan. Beautiful. Oh, he's got a nice one. Wow, man. That's about a 10. Yeah, it might be my biggest one. 10 inch or so. Nice, man. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. Good job, brother. Good Thank job. You. Good job, man. There we go. Oh, 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 blah, 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 blah. Oh. Yeah. Son of a buck snort. It's right over in that little slack spot, or not as fast, you know. See if it'll give me another try. Or maybe another one. That may have been a 10 inch or so fish as well. But the truth of the matter is, you've got literally. Oh. Nice. <laughs> we didn't get a good release, he came back. Good job, man. Good job, brother. Nice. The uh, little yeah, midge. He's got another one. Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> dang, dang, dang. Did you see that bend the rod? Yeah. What in God's green earth am I doing wrong? I don't think that was the one, but I'll take it. That one bent the rod. I wonder if those one fellas hadn't fished this for years. Get him in the net, get him in the net. Good job, brother. You're right. I mean, as, as much as this, as much as this trip, as, as much as the adversity or failure of this, oh, there you go, oh, hey. He's got him on the line, he's got him on the line. I the I need a longer leader on mine. Mine's not the best setup. Look at it. Two out of one hole. Look at you, Good man. Fish. Look at you. It's a nice one too. Nice one. White robin outdoors getting her done. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Okay. This place right here is just beautiful. It's cool. Yeah. Hit the nymph. What am I cut on here? Wind on a little brookie. All right, that's going to wrap up a day of uh, fishing here. We're going to wrap up the day just on this brook trout stream. We pushed the ways in here the other day, uh, yesterday, and we went a lot further today. But uh, we're going to wrap up the evening here. That was a long, long, pretty long push in here. We're going to wrap it up. Call it a night, but what one heck of a day getting some brook trout to the net. Final supper, burgers, deer hot dogs, and whatever else we end up eating here. Hard day fishing, good eats at the end. We are feasting by the light of the camper here. Ah, venison, sausage, burgers. Blake did a great job cooking.
top of the morning to you. We're heading out, heading home. Been uh, quite the trip. Obviously, we struggled with finding good water. In fact, I was talking to a gentleman this morning that um, there was another gentleman typically he comes to this area and fishes for a month. And he uh, came, turned around, and went home. So that's how bad it is. Uh, we pursued through difficult fishing and got her done. End up finding literally one of the best brook trout streams we've ever fished. It was truly a wonderful, wonderful stream. Just plunge pool after plunge pool. Great area to cast. Lots of brook trout and some big ones in there as well too, which was really nice. But uh, trips like this, you just never know. You have to plan, go for it, and try to get it done. But sometimes it's not easy. The, the flow in places is just very bad. Uh, hopefully we don't stay on this trend. But at the end, it turned out pretty good. I got my personal best brown and we landed a lot of beautiful brookies and had, had a good time with a lot of good fellas. So, so thanks uh, for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And if you like it, please give it a comment and a like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh